Alright, hi guys. So this video is going to be my February favorites video and I do not have a lot of stuff for February. I have stuff that I'm trying out because as you guys know I did like a huge palette haul. So I'm still trying those out to see if I like them. So probably in March I'll have a few of those palettes um, in my March favorites. So the very first thing that I want to mention is this sleek blush in Life's a Peach. I've been using it a lot in my makeup tutorial. It's really, really small, but I mean, I mean, I mean, just like the color. I love, let me tell you, it gives off, I think that I wouldn't be able to wear this, but it gives off the color without it being too stark, without it being too harsh, and without it being ashy. So I really, really love this blush. And as you can see, it's an orange. I've been using it a lot in my tutorials because I'm like, yo, this is, yeah this is cool this is cool so this is the packaging and it's sleek blush and it is in the shade life's a peach then i have been loving yes yes black opal foundation okay so I, 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 this one is in oh and i'm see it finish finish can't go no more i have been let me show you how deep it goes how deep is the love? Twisting it back up and that's it. So this color is in suede mocha. I didn't know that suede mocha would fit me so much. Remember I used to always wear suede mocha but because I'm now using natural light, it really doesn't make my skin look red. I'm like, thank you God. Because under the studio lights, it really made my skin look red. And you guys are like, oh my gosh, look, that's too warm. Oh my God, that's orange. And I'm just thinking, nah, Bobo, trust and believe it's not orange or too red in person. So um, black opal foundations, they're full coverage. Well, the stick ones I know are full coverage. Um, I do will say for black opal foundations though the stick ones and then the ones in the little flat pans so let me see if I can show you foundations that come in this as well this is the powder the ones the foundation ones from black opal it comes into like a thicker packaging same concept overall but it's like a thicker packaging so the ones in this I think they're different because I saw a beautiful brand in this and a beautiful brand in this the brand is the powder but I'm just giving an example and this was way way cooler so I'm thinking about getting the beautiful brands in this for myself to see if it fits me or not but yeah so definitely black opal foundations and a lot of people say that it's oily it's dewy and you know and it slips all over the skin but it's a very good beginner makeup i still use it um i use it in my kit i use it on myself so i really really stand by black opal foundations especially the stick because the stick lasts way longer than the pan then i want to say it's your face cosmetics camouflage foundation and this one is in caramel cream and i've been using this to, to do my brows this is what i've been using for, for i think since the beginning of the month or in the middle of february or so but i deliberately stopped using my level 11 and i went back to this i used to use this and i stopped and then i went back to it and i was like yes yes but, but, but loves it loves it loves it loves it so this is what the well i guess you guys know what the color looks like because i've been using it in my tutorials so that's what the color looks like really love it love it love it love it and it's really good to highlight as well then of course it's your face cosmetics vex lip liner you guys know i've been using this a lot i use this in my Too faced semi to chocolate bar palette tutorial and this was the only thing on my lips and a lot of you love this color same lyric oh my gosh that's nice what color is that i did not could use pencil for all over my lips wow did it that all that good stuff so definitely let me see if I have anything else from yeah I have one more thing but definitely definitely check out it's your face cosmetics the owner is Jamaican I know some big up I am a Jamaican good days big up yourself go there have to be up all my Jamaican good girls <laughs> so definitely 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 check out um it's your face cosmetics and then the last thing from it's your face cosmetics is their mm, oh, black Atlanta in near O1 I'm shaking my leg I don't know why I'm so happy I'm shaking my leg I don't know why am I telling you anyway, so this is in the super wear gel liner in near 01 and it's just black you can't see it's really tiny but look how much I've used I mean it's like I'm, I'm I'm really falling in love with it's your face cosmetics because I'm like but my girl have some ton of things is it that? Yes, that? so um yeah um what else I've been loving 
and I know I just bought this but listen I've been using this so much it's the BH Cosmetics liner and it's only I think two dollars or three dollars and I'm surprised I use it to the disc today I'm, I'm surprised by the quality of it how easy it is to use definitely something for a beginner definitely something that can go and take it definitely something you can definitely use on yourself as well this right here sir turn up turn up my mac lipsticks i've been wearing mac lipsticks a lot um uh, this month or in the month of february uh, lots all right and i don't do it deliberately but um my favorite one is candy yum yum it's i don't know it's that like really really bright it's brighter than this pink that i'm having that i'm wearing now but this is the kind of washing it out but i've fallen in love with candy yum yum all over again all over again i have to be fighting not to wear it sometimes love candy yum yum oh, ha, ha. and then i've also been loving saint germain which is another pink i'm big i'm gonna be able to follow them named germain i'm gonna say saint germain all the way saint germain is a little bit pinker than this it has like some violet undertones so yeah that's it just been loving these two love i've been loving my, my mac lipsticks all over again yeah i have quite a few so if you want to do like a mac lipstick collection let me know i don't know and then last makeup item is my shades by gal contour Oops, palette i'm using this one to low light this one to highlight and i've just i'm at yes 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 please yes please and thanks i have been loving it i've been using it in my tutorials yeah i like it and again shades by girl another jamaican company jamaican owned company big up on a silver for tinga and large tinga and a little yes goodies so yeah i don't know why i'm so happy i'm not me you know and i'm so happy anyway so yeah so shades by girl and i have one last thing i told it wasn't a lot of stuff Alright, so this is the soap I've been using. Bruh. Abara. I have a haul coming up with um some stuff like that from this company, but this is from Bubble Base. If you follow me on Instagram, I have my phone. Yeah, I have my phone today. That is a soap. I'm actually we can see the soap right there. It's this one over here. That one is I think it's a little bit blurry. But yeah, so that's the soap over there and all these things I got from Bubble Babes and you guys will see in the haul that I, all these things I got from Bubble Babes and you guys will see in the haul that I have coming up. But I really, really love the soap. I love how it smells. I love how it lathers. I love how it feels. It makes my skin feel so clean. And I've been using their oatmeal soap. I think it's the oatmeal soap. I really think it's the only one to go home, right? I mean, I'm using that soap on my face. I don't let you guys know how that goes. I'll see if it's in my marriage favorites or something. But yeah, so definitely I have been enjoying. And I just, I'm looking at the picture and I'm like, wow. Wow, I can't wait for you guys to see that haul. I can't wait for you guys to see that haul. But yeah, so that's basically it. And that's all that I've been. That's my favorites. Oh, no, I have honorable mentions. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to hold them up one time. Honorable mention, Mac. Paint potting painterly, bubble. My hourglass ambient lighting palette, honey. My MAC Prep and Priming Peach Luster. Everybody's been asking me on Instagram, what do I use to get rid of my spots for foundation? And I know I've held it up in videos, I've said it in videos, and just keep on asking me. I'm actually at the most at 19. But I'm gonna be nice. <laughs> and I'm gonna say it is the MAC Prep and Prime in Peach Luster. And I'm going to say this again the girl who put me onto this was Rose Kimberly from YouTube. I saw her use it and I was like, because I bought it and did not want to do it for because I wanted to buy the yellow one to highlight. And then I got this one, I was like, crap, I got the wrong one. So it was like just there sitting down for a while. Then I saw her, but I'm like, ah, I have that. I'ma use it and I've been loving it ever since. Honorable mention and the last honorable mention is my beauty blender. I have the pink one. It's the pink one. It's the size difference. This isn't um damp. This is damp. 
so yes i have the pink one i have the black one and listen i just use this black one today to hold the bottom is to blend out my foundation i'm like wow though like i've never used it to blend out my foundation i'm like okay okay i, I see you i see you beauty blender i see you so i'm gonna try using this to blend up my foundation instead of using my brushes but yeah that's basically it for this um february favorites hope you guys enjoy this and just thumbs up if you want more favorites which i'm sure you do which i don't really care about more or not i'm still going to do monthly favorites so make up on myself and later bye guys <laughs>